Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode in our Journey of Wrestling series. It's, uh, it's been a hot minute since we've done anything in this. Um, it uh, took a back, uh, uh, took a break for a moment there. Um, took a back burner to uh, some of the other stuff that was happening. Uh, but the last show, uh, for those who aren't remember, who aren't uh, immediately watching this right after the previous episode, uh, the last show we had uh, Vader and Kane. We had the desecration of the grave. We got that feud going on with them. We had the Quebecers get hyped up by a promo. We had Val Venus win a 15-person battle royal to earn a shot at the European Championship, I believe that was. Uh, we had a spooky trick between Edge and Christian and the Headbangers. We had the New Age Outlaws and X-Pac defeat Too Cool and Rey Mysterio. We had Bradshaw turn his back on Barry Windham, which got zero stars, which was absolutely terrible. Uh, Shamrock defeated the Godfather. Uh, then Shamrock was attacked by San by Dan Severn. Taker had a feud or t had a promo about his feud with Austin. And then the main event saw Shawn Michaels Triple H defeat Owen Hart and Chris Jericho, which was a pretty good rating. So we are on the road to Armageddon. In fact, this is the go home show for Armageddon. Uh, we are reassuring and training and recruiting, all that kind of stuff. Rikishi, so with his broken back for 10 months. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's dive into things. Let's dive into things and see what we can do. So we've got this feud now with Bradshaw and Barry Windham, this betrayal feud. Uh, we're going to do something with this. I don't know what. Uh, you know what? Let's just have those two fight. Just go out there and just fight with each other. Uh, Owen and Michaels, still pretty good. Um, so we could do something with that. Same with Trips and, and Jericho. We could do something with that. You know what? Those four, we could throw them into a promo thing, and it would be it would be pretty good. Owen's not the greatest, but... So let's have Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Owen Hart, and Chris Jericho. Not The Rock. Why did I click that? And they're going to have a promo battle. That uh, takes care of both of those feuds there. Uh, let's look at matches. Let's see what matches we can do. Obviously, I don't want to book anybody in a match who's going to be uh, having a match at the pay-per-view. Because I don't want to wear them out. Uh, that's right. Stone Cold Steve Austin is a part-timer at this point. Uh, I forgot about that. For some reason, in 1988, he becomes a part-timer. But The Undertaker, who is only one year younger than him... Is not. I don't know why he became a part-timer. I guess it's because of the other interests. But still, in 1998, when Austin was still really hot, he became a part-timer for us. So that sucked. Um, Foley has nothing going on right now. Let's put him in a match with somebody. Uh, do I give him... I could give him a match against Severin for the IC title. I mean, Severin's taken on Shamrock at the pay-per-view, but we could still do that. Give him a little bit of fatigue, though, so maybe I don't want to do that. Um, Rock doesn't have a feud, and those two could heat things back up again. Same with Jarrett. Um... See if Foley and Jarrett. We'll do that. Um, let's have let's have two cold Scorpio put over the Rock as well. Since Rock doesn't have a whole lot he's doing right now. What other matches could I do here? Taka is in a bit of a a bit of a run right now. He has no charisma, but he's a good work rate person. Um, he's managed by Sonny. Let's see here.
Let's have... No, let's not do anything with that for the moment. Let's have... Oh, we have a fight. Um... You know what, it's not going to be the best, but let's have Bradshaw go over Matt Hardy as well. And then we can do the fight right afterwards. Alright, so that, we might throw another match in there, but let's go back to the segments here. Uh, Austin and Taker. Hmm. Let's do a split interview for those two. I haven't done that one yet for them. Shamrock and Severin. Um, I could do Standing Tall. Yeah, let's do Standing Tall. Let's do Standing Tall for those two. Headbangers and Edgy Christian. I did the comedy bit last time, and I think it did really well. So let's do another comedy bit this time. Let's have it be a, a perfect entrance parody. X Pac and Ray are definitely that that feud's definitely gonna get blown off at Armageddon. Uh, but we can do something here as well for it. Let's have. I want to see this feud real quick here. X, Pac, and Ray. Ray's gone up two. Ray's two nothing on him. Even though X, Pac won the six, in the six man tag. That's right, because he won, he retained the title, and then he also won a lot at ladder match at Survivor Series for the title. Even though X, Pac has won every other match. Every match that the title wasn't on the line, X-Pac has won. Um. You know, we'll just do this. X-Pac demands one more title shot. We have one more segment left, and we have one more feud to do something with. So there you go, Vader and Kane. We need to get this hot. Uh, Vader and Kane. I'm gonna start doing like some of this crazier stuff down here that I don't do much of. Um, let's see. Kane desecrated the no. Vader desecrated the grave last time. I think it was. I think that was what I said. Was that Vader desecrated the grave of Kane? Uh, somebody create Kane's. So Kane destroys Vader's car. That works, I guess. All right, how the hell do I reorganize this card? Um, this should be the main. As good as this promo battle is going to be, this promo battle is actually going to be opening up the show. Um, let's see. Then we'll do the entrance parody. Then we will have the Matt Hardy and Bradshaw match followed by the fight. Let's then have... Put that there. And let's have two cold Scorpio and the Rock like here. That kind of works. Let's run it and see what happens. All right. Very hot way to start off the show this week. Five stars. Triple H and Shawn Michaels are out there making fun of Owen and Jericho. Jericho and Owen come out. They respond. 
leads to those two singles matches this Sunday at Armageddon. Five stars. Really good stuff. Triple H got over the fans. That's good to see. Uh, Sean and Owens feud got hot. And those guys put on a hot segment. So that's really good to see. Entrance parody. Uh... Uh, Edgy Christian are doing the parody. The Handbangers music hits, and actually Edgy Christian come out wearing the skirts and the shirts that say "Real Men Wear Skirts." <laughs> and the crowd's laughing about it the whole time. And that's four and a quarter stars. That's not bad. Got five feet for the feud. That's not bad at all. I'll take that. Matt Hardy and Bradshaw. Bradshaw's going over. Bradshaw's got to start getting a little bit of momentum, a little bit of popularity for him. Since we're kind of turning him to his heel, a uh, little bit of a push. Even though he is uh, a troublemaker, I think he'll still be fine. He's also loyal, so if he takes losses, he's a little bit less likely to lose morale from it. But he does gain 2% uh, morale here, which is good because he was at 60% morale. So that's good to see. Uh, match only got 2.5 stars, but that's to be fair. That's to be expected, honestly. Bradshaw had 503 popularity heading into this, and Matt Hardy had 499. So it's your typical mid card match. Gets a mid card rating. And afterwards, Barry Windham comes down, and the two start brawling with each other. Not outside the local graveyard; they're just brawling with each other. Man, the crowd does not. The crowd doesn't want to see this feud at all. The crowd just hates this feud. We're gonna have to definitely blow it off at the pay per view. Bradshaw's starting to get stale. God dang it! Right after I did that. Uh, lost six heat, lost 17 popularity for Bradshaw. God damn it. <laughs> uh, 8% over in his change. Yeah. The crowd just does not give a damn about this feud. Of course, to be fair, I think it, I think both of them are at one star charisma. So that's probably why too. I probably should have put producer focus on this, on this, uh, fight. Especially cause it was 5% effectiveness. Whatever. X-Pac. Says he wants one more shot at the light heavyweight championship that Rey Mysterio holds. Uh, and that uh, if he loses, he will admit defeat and he will move on. Three and a half stars. That's not bad. Gained four heat for the feud. Not too bad there. Two cold scorpion on the rock. The rock is going over. Three stars. Not bad. Not too bad there. Our matches are not uh, fantastic. Unless it's like some of the top tier people. So I'll say I'll still take a three star match. That's not bad at all. Uh, Scorpio lost four heat or four pop, but Rock gained nine pop. So Rock's still kind of at that weird pay point in this where he's like upper mid card slash main eventer. So we'll have to kind of see what we continue to do with him heading forward. But there you go. He also has other interests, which means there's a good chance that he might <laughs> he might uh, become a part timer here soon too. Um. Severin and Shamrock are talking to each other in the ring. It's getting hostile. And Shamrock is going to be the one standing tall. He hits his finisher on Dan Severin. So I'm guessing he hit the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Gain 12 heat is a hot segment. Almost five stars. Nice. Really good stuff to see. Got, got both of them a pop. Got both of them 5% morale. Shamrock got 4% overness out of it. Really good stuff to see there. As Shamrock... Uh, has the upper hand heading into the pay-per-view. Uh, then we find out that Kane is in the parking lot destroying the hell out of Vader's car. That almost got five stars as well. Kane six heat. Kane getting some popularity out of that. That's not bad at all. I do like the fact that Stone Cold is a uh, part-timer right now and Vader, who's 43, is not. But whatever. Jared and Foley going at it here. Uh, Foley probably should win. He'll probably take a big hit in morale if he loses. Although he is easy to please. Uh, but Jared, I mean, I need to build up some heals. And Jared is a decent heal to be using for a build up. And his morale kind of sucks. So you know what? Maybe he wins. He's going to get a surprise victory here. Three and a half stars. I have only, only lost seven morale. That's fine. I can make that up. Uh, Jeff Jarrett did not get any morale for his win. Despite the fact that he had a huge upset there. He didn't get any morale for his win. God damn it, Jeff. 
God damn it, Jeff. Three and a half stars, I'll still take it. I will still take that. And then we have a split interview to end Raw with Stone Cold and the Undertaker talking to each other. Austin says that he will have to be put down for good to not be getting that championship back. The Taker says, I can put you down for good. You just watch because this Sunday it's Armageddon and it will be the end of the world for you, Stone Cold. Oh my God, this is what is going to happen. Four and a half stars, or four and a quarter stars, sorry. Gain five heat for the feud. Good stuff there. Show gets a three and a half star rating. Not bad. Not too bad. We level up car destruction, so that's good. Light heavyweight championship got three XP, which is good. Uh, but we lost three XP for our reputation, which means we probably just lost fans. Yep, we lost 32.3k fans. God damn it. That's because Nitro had a four and a half star show this week. Uh, everybody else had three and a half stars. Eh, that's fine. We could take that loss. Because we are at the pay-per-view now. Why do we have messages about goals? Oh. Oh, dang it. We lost 100 creative points because we didn't complete the goals. Two Cold Scorpio, Booker T, and Taka Michinoku, and make the main eventers. What? <laughs> uh, it, what? Two Cold Scorpio, Booker T, and Taka Michinoku. And I have to get them to main event status. Need I remind you, Two Cold Scorpio, who's naturally stale. Taka Michinoku, who is really good in the ring, but is not that, who has no charisma. And Booker T, who's just average. Yeah, we may not end up completing that goal. <laughs> uh, three, four, and 0.75 star or higher cell, steel cell matches. So that's Hell in a Cell. Okay, maybe. And then one wrestler of the year. Uh, okay, I guess. It's Armageddon time. Well, I was planning on... Taker and Austin doing something else, but I might put them in a steel cell so I can get the, so I can possibly get five star or four and four point seven five stars on that one and complete that goal. Um, I mean this wouldn't be a bad idea for them, and then have Austin lose and have him take a hit because essentially what's going to happen here is since I only have a certain number of appearances for Austin. Uh, he's going to lose this match, and then he's probably going to be taking some time away or something like that. Although, to be fair, those appearances is just matches, but it's not segments. So I could just put him in a ton of weekly segments and then have just pay-per-view matches for him. That's what I could do. Uh, what is the difference between... Okay, there's no difference whatsoever, but for some reason they're both in here. Okie doke. I also didn't think about having a big casket match. Honestly, what I was hoping for, and it doesn't look like it's here. Yeah, honestly, what I was hoping for was Buried Alive. Because then Austin could have got buried, and then he could have disappeared from TV for a while. But, I mean, I guess casket would work for that. And I do need to level that up. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Uh, and add the blow off. So that's going to be coming to an end. Taker's going to move on to someone else. You know what? That's what I can do. I need a steel cell that's probably going to be a banger. Put Shamrock and Severn inside of it. 
Those two wanting to beat the hell out of each other so badly that they're going to be locked inside of a steel cell. I know I still have some staleness for this Taker and Austin thing, but like I said, I'm going to write Austin off for a little bit because I only have so many matches I can use for him over the next year. So we'll kind of leave that as is. Uh, X-Pac and Ray will have just a normal matchup. That's going to be blown off there. Vader and Kane should probably have some sort of gimmick. There's no event effects on this one. Uh, Vader and Kane should definitely have some sort of gimmick after what's been happening with them. Um, unsanctioned, maybe? Street Fight? Possibly. Last Man Sandy could be a good one. Street Fight, I do have level all the way up. You know what? They're going to have a Street Fight. That works. Uh, Triple H and Jericho is just going to be a normal matchup. Same with Owen and Michaels. Bradshaw and Barry Windham are going to have a brawl, and that's going to end this feud because this feud has been terrible so far. Even though it's only been like two weeks, it's been terrible. Give me something that's not that beach. Beach again. A church. In a church. There we go. We'll do bar. Bar works. Blow off on that because that feud sucks. All right, uh, and then tag with Headbangers, Edge, and Christian. How many times have they fought so far for those titles? Oops, wrong one. I feel like it's been twice now. No, it's just been once. Just been doing a lot of segments otherwise. They had a TLC match, that's right. All right, let's uh, do a... I mean, it could still keep going. For another month. So I might as well. Let's give them a. You know what? That's just going to be a normal match. See, that's a normal matchup. All right. So all of our feuds are in. We still have six segments left. Uh, we could do some segment stuff. Let's do production and let's hype up the main event. You keep leveling that up anyway. Um, I need to get better about doing these video packages and stuff like that. Let's do a video package for somebody. Uh, well, if I have to start building up Booker T, Taka Michinoku, and Two Cold Scorpio, I guess I better start on that. Do some trio thing for them too. Let's get Booker a video package here. Um, it's not really going to make a whole lot of sense, but for that, I might as well do Booker and Taka. In a tag match against I mean it's random as hell but we could do the you know the rock and roll express yeah let's do that should be a decent match to have on there minus 20 linemen oh that's right because rock and roll express are natural faces but they're coming off his heels do that before that. Oh yeah, Sunny's been managing Taka, so I could have Sunny go and manage Scorpio and uh, Booker as well, and then just have them all form a group that way. Well, Sunny's the manager of the group. That could work. All right, all three of these guys just wrestled, but they probably are going to lose a little bit of popularity or whatnot if they're not featured on the show. Hey, we got Jeff Jarrett up to main event status, by the way. So let's do a segment. Uh, 
I don't know. A promo battle, I guess, with those three. We'll throw somebody else in there, too. Holy Jarrett, and what is that? Two heels, one face? Yeah. This is just to get people on the card. Um, Godfather. Put him in there. Pimpin' Hose Nationwide. You know what? Let's put Raven in there. Everybody's going to be like, what the hell are you doing here? Even if it is three heels. Everybody's going to be like, what the hell are you doing here, Raven? <laughs> I didn't want to put him in a match, but, you know, that works too, I guess. Might be able to get some a good rub from that. Uh, I do have room for one more segment. Um... Where's somebody? You know what? He has no charisma, though. You know what? Al Snow's going to be in a backstage barbecue. There we go. And then we'll do a match. Uh, you know what? Multi works. Oh, no, wait. No, I can't. All right. We're not going to do the match that I was going to do because just for, you know, just to make sure it happens, we are going to have Shofunaki and Val Venus on the card as well. Because remember, Val won the European title shot. So he's going to be getting his title shot at this pay-per-view so we can get the European title on the show as well. All right. This is a weird card. This is a very weird card. Uh, Let's put Sean and Owen there. Love it in between the cell and the casket. Um, do I need to blow off any more of these feuds? This isn't gonna help me. Taker and Austin is blowing off. Shamrock and Severn can continue. Headbangers and Christian. No, we'll keep that going for a little bit longer. Trips and Jericho's fine. The light heavyweight title once ending Vader and Kane. Vader and Kane, I'm hoping, gets hot with this street fight. Because if not, then I'm going to have to end it here shortly. Owen and Michaels is going to be good for a while. And then, yeah, we're ending that one. Okay. Uh, anyway. Order-wise, order-wise. Let's see. I feel like I want to... Honestly, I feel like I want to open the show. Like, we do the main event package. And I feel like I honestly want to open the show with Jericho and Triple H because that could be like a good way to like really get the show right off the right like going like holy crap these two are having a hell of a matchup. Uh, and then after that we do the the tag match here, which won't be as good. Um. Oh, that's right. We got to do the video package for Booker before the tag match. So maybe I won't put that right there. Uh, Let's do light heavyweight title after that. That can be good. Then we do the video package. We got the tag match. We'll leave the European title match there. The promo battle we can do up here as well. Actually, no, the promo battle can go in between the cell and the street fight. That'll be a way for us to kind of clean up from the street fight and get ready for the cell. Um, honestly, the backstage barbecue could probably stay right there. Yeah, honestly, this card's pretty, pretty good. Let's do it. Let's see what happens at Armageddon 1998. Starting event. Fans are excited for the main event. We're also excited for Severn and Shamrock, as well as the tag team title match and Michaels and Owen. Uh, Brenda Bowman says that Taker retains, Shawn Michaels beat Owen, that Severn retains, that Vader beats Kane, that Barry Wyndham beats Bradshaw, the Headbangers win the tag team titles, which is tempting. Honestly, it's tempting. 70% uh, Shofunaki retaining, Taka and Booker beat the Rock and Roll Express. Ray Mysterio retains and 70% Chris Jericho. All right, let's see what happens. 
Main event package. Hyping up the main event. Let's go. Good stuff there. Triple H and Chris Jericho to open up the show. Jericho's 4-0. Bit of a streak. He's doing really well right now. Triple H not doing so hot. He's lost his last two. Um, I think to really keep the feud going, I think we give Triple H a victory here. Um, I would do kind of tainted or kind of a ad finish thing, but it's going to harm it if I do this. It's going to take a penalty or it's going to take a, uh, you know, some sort of uh, thing there. That's only half a star for that. 0.75 for feud staleness. So I could do that. Triple H cheats to win, maybe. I want to draw one would be interesting. But we don't really have time limit draws in our thing. Double pin could be interesting. What was this? Uh, disrespect. So yeah, it makes more sense for there to be cheating. Yeah, Triple H is going to cheat to win, even though it's going to penalize the match. Oh man, it's still got four stars. It would have been four and a half if that uh, if it hadn't been the cheating thing. That's fine though. They had a hot match. Really good to see. Jericho lost five morale for losing to Triple H, but that's okay. Because he still got 11 popularity out of this. He still had a hot match. And we can make up that morale. That's not an issue. Uh, but there you go. We also need to get Triple H some popularity. He was way down there. He's at 766. So at least he's getting up there. He's getting close to main event status again. But four stars for this, which is really good there. And it gains heat for the feud still. All right. Light Heavyweight Championship. Xbox in his final shot at Rey Mysterio. Uh, Xbox is 0-5 in his last matches. You know, in theory... Probably should have figured this out better. Although, to be fair, he's won a lot more matches than he's lost recently. It's just been more tag matches. Uh, Ray's been the light heavyweight champion for four months, and he's going to stay the light heavyweight champion. Three and a half stars. That's not bad. Ray got over with the fans. Hell yeah. Ray Ray is over. I got 10 XP for the title, so that's good. All right. Booker T gets a video package. Four and a half stars. Getting him some popularity. Get him some overness. Let's go. Booker T is now popular when it comes to his overness. Video package is one XP away from leveling up. <laughs> uh, tag match. Taka, Michinoku, and Booker T randomly teaming up to take on the Rock and Roll Express. And Taka and Booker are going to win. Hey, that was almost four stars. Because they have that work rate. They have that work rate. Two, two morale for them. And 4.75% overness. So Booker, Booker is starting to get over with the fans now. Like, he got the overness boost for the video package, and he got the overness boost for this match. So there you go. All right. European title on the line. Shofunaki. Val Venus. And Funaki's gonna win. I have I don't have, really have a reason to take it off of him right now. Even if I need to find him a storyline after Armageddon. Hey, that wasn't a bad match. Three and a half stars. Why is Val upset about that? You were less popular than oh I guess technically you're more popular by three. Whatever. That was also at hundred percent morale, so we're fine. Or was at 100%. So, three and a half stars for this title match that has no storyline is pretty good. Uh, then we got a backstage barbecue with Al Snow. 
I got almost four stars. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a little bit better, but that's fine. Got him seven popularity and 1% overness. So there's that. Tag team titles on the line. Edge and Christian have been the champions for four months now. Headbangers. Are the headbangers? Uh, Edge and Christian are undefeated as a tag team as well. And they are going to stay that way for the time being as they go over. Hey, hot match. Four and a quarter stars. Game three heat for the feud. Good stuff. Good stuff. Barry Windham and Bradshaw brawling in a in a bar. This is why those segments have been doing terrible, because both of them are one-star charisma. They are both one-star charisma. But they're two-star work rate, so this match should be okay-ish. Eh, it was three and a half. That's actually not bad. Actually gained one heat on the blow-off. Spradshaw gets the victory over Barry Windham. Getting him some popularity. Hopefully that uh, helps him out. I did get him over in this form too, so maybe he's not so now he's not as stale as he was. So that's good to see. Oh, Booker T's gimmick also increased too. That's good. Street Fight Kane Invader. Uh, I'll be honest, I have no idea who I want to have winning this. Um, I mean, the feud's not blown off. So, let's put Vader over at the moment. Hot match, four and a half stars in a violent street fight. Holy crap. They gained a ton of morale for this. What the hell? Got 19 heat for it. The feud became hot. They had a hot match. Let's go. I'm really, that's really awesome for that. That means I can run it for a little bit longer then. Uh, this Morcus board of promos going on. It's five stars. <laughs> Why the hell wouldn't it? <laughs> Jared's the one that got the popularity out of this though. That's weird, but I was hoping that Raven would have gotten the popularity, but whatever. Uh, Rock came out and was kind of promo. Mick Foley interrupted him. Jeff Jarrett interrupted them. Said that those two are both nobodies and that Jeff Jarrett is the future of professional wrestling. And then Raven showed up and he just said some weird stuff. And everybody's like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> That's essentially what happened here. <laughs> Steel Cell Match for the Intercontinental Championship. Ken Shamrock and Dan Severn. Severn's been the champ for five months now. Um, do I take the title off of Severn in this? He's been the champ for five months. He's still dominating, but, you know, five month champ. The feud's not blown off yet. Ah. Uh... Shamrock is not quite up to three star work rate, but a natural three star that is. Going back and forth in my head about it. Uh, let's keep it on Severn for the moment. The feed's probably going to end with Shamrock winning it, but we'll keep it on Severn. Five stars, let's go. Shamrock lost two morale, but that's fine, we can make that up. Gain six heat for the feud. Really good to see there. So we got one of our, our uh, Steel Cell goal things. We got one, we just need two more. Which should be fine. Severn wins. Over Shamrock here, retaining the kind of title. Shawn Michaels and Owen Hart going at it here. Uh, honestly, 
Sean's going to get pissed, but I'm probably going to put Owen over. Just want to give him some more popularity. Let's put Owen over. Holy crap, Sean was really pissed about that. <laughs> he lost 13 morale and he lost 4 overness. But it was a 5 star match. They got half a star for working into their strengths, so. You know what? Whatever. Sean wants to be pissy about it, so be it. He'll he'll uh, recover. I'm not too worried about that. And the main event casket match for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship. And thankfully, this one's a lot easier because Taker's going over. Four and three fourths of a star. Ending the feud, or yeah, ending the feud there. Good stuff. They had a hot match. Well, they didn't say they had a hot match, but they had a hot match. Both of them got morale from it, so. There you go. Armageddon was uh, was a hell of a show, honestly. Four and a half stars. Let's go. Got 137 creative points for it, too. Uh, Shio Funaki's got over the fans, so that's good to see. Got some goals completed. Owen's on the way to becoming a face of the company. Kane did become a face of the company. Holy shit. Vader speared Kane through the barricade. The fans are going crazy. He's been worth 30 creative points, and Vader gained an overness boost of 2%. Holy shit. Vader speared him through the barricade? That's awesome. 5 XP for WWF, 22 XP for Armageddon. Casket match in, uh, leveled up, so now the cost is decreased. Let's go. Prestige of the European Championship increased as well. So that's good to see. Let's go. Armageddon getting 33.2k fans. We basically just got back all the fans we just lost. <laughs> A pretty even show, if I, if I do say so. Uh, Starcade had more viewers, but they also lost more fans. So suck it, Starcade. Uh, Triple H became hot. Show Funaki became over. Rays became over. Fantastic match between Austin and Taker. Match of the year contender between Michaels and Owen. Severn and Shamrock had a classic. Vader and Kane had a, had a great match. WCW released Bobby Walker. Kerhenning got over. Hogan became the new champion at Starcade. Uh, Sting, Eddie Gross, Scott Hall, and Hogan had a terrific match at Starcade. So that was for the title, I guess. Cheetah Master tried something new at All Japan. Uh, the Godwins are going to New Japan. <laughs> good luck, New Japan, because they sucked. They were terrible for us, so good luck with them. Uh, Battle Final Tour was an amazing show for New Japan, so that's good to see. Otani's re able to recover. Tenzan, Chono, and Nakanishi had a great match. All right. I need to start doing more multi-man matches. I don't do a whole lot of them. Yeah, honestly, Battle Tour, fi Battle Final Tour was the second best show of the night. It had four and a half, four and a quarter stars, and it only lost four hundred fans, as opposed to some all the other ones. Uh oh, wait, the Godwins. Never mind. The, we still have the Godwins on our roster. So the they want to steal the Godwins from us. You know what? Honestly, not against it. They're good. Ta they're a good tag team, but I really haven't done much with them at all. Um, and I could probably get other people that's better. So yeah, we'll accept it. That's fine. Bye, Godwins. Chris Jericho wants to have a match with Brian Christopher. I mean, it'd be face versus face, but yeah, I can do that. That's fine. Uh-oh. We have an illness event that occurred as well. Uh, oh, our scout is not available for a month. Oh, that's probably the illness. The other one's got released. So Priya Parker, our scout, has come down with that case of the flu and can't work this month. She's got the flu for the entire month. That sounds about right. Uh, PCO's morale suffered because of the reassure failed. Uh, Sable's morale suffered because of that reassurance failure. But, you know, it's whatever, I guess. Stevie Richards is now available to sign. As is the extreme. Terry Gordy has made himself available to sign. 
David. <laughs> David Arquette has arrived on the Indies. <laughs> I'm from Hollywood. <laughs> Steve Carino got some popularity and Shofunaki's over. That's awesome. I'm from Hollywood. Oh shoot, that's funny. All right. Uh yeah, this is a this is a thing. Let's go to the indies real quick before we end this episode. So the extreme are available, which is Devin Storm and Ace Darling. So let's try to sign them so we can get another tag team in here. Uh, good estimate of 250 for their value. Nope, they want more. 300. There we go. Um, do I want to send them to the main roster? I mean, they're good, but not great. Let's send them, yeah, we'll just keep them in developmental. Maybe they can work on their charisma. Uh, and the CB Richards. Doesn't really have a lot of stats. I thought he was going to have some more traits, however, but he's a heal. So I could bring him in and have him team up with Raven. Give Raven something to do. Send a main roster. There's that. Who else did we recruit? Oh, that's right. Terry Gordy became available. Eh, he's already part time. I don't want that. I don't want Tito Santana's retired, so I don't want him. I don't know what the hell I'd do with him. And Brackus, I'm definitely not bringing in. He's only part time right as well. He has one appearance. So, no. Viscera, though. <laughs> he's got one work rate, one charisma. Yikes. Oh, that's Tank Abbott. Oh. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Bring in Tank Abbott. And Hiro Suzuki would be interesting. I want to set up my stuff to for people to like. I want to set up my scouts and all that. One work rate, two charisma. You know what? That sounds about right. He's on a. He's already a part timer as well. Um. Is there anybody here who I'd actually want to scout to possibly bring into the company? Jake Roberts would be interesting if I just had him as a manager because, I mean, look at that charisma. Um, Ivory would be interesting. Two and two. She's 37, though, at this point. Sid Vicious. Silver King. Lenny Lane. El Dandy, El Dandy, greatest wrestler ever. Bret Hart says so. <laughs> um, yeah, there's somebody, not really anybody there. Could go for the Pitbulls. 31. Well, average 31, I guess. Bring another tag team, I guess. Yeah, there's not really anybody here right now, though, that I want to break, that I want to start looking at. So we'll just hold off on that. Uh, and then let's also make sure our staff is doing stuff. So let's have our talent managers doing things. Even though they failed last time at, at uh, making people happy. Um, You know what? I don't think we have anybody re even reassured. Let me look really quick here. Singles. Morale. Other way. Lawler has terrible morale. I don't know what happened to him. But I don't really care if he leaves. Vince Teo, Brian Lee, Sable. PCO, that one kind of sucked a little bit, but I can probably just build him up a little bit more. Some of these people I just need to use more often. Yeah, everything's everybody's fine for the moment. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this episode.
we uh we had Armageddon. It turned out to be a hell of a show. And now we've uh now we got some stuff we're doing, so we'll have to see how it plays out. But thank you all for watching, definitely appreciate it, and we will catch you in a future video.